on the channel in. Yeah, I do just what I do, and I hope you let me in, let me in, yeah. <laughs> Good morning guys, this is episode 5 of Survival Challenge on Carmson Farm on Farming Simulator 2022. Obviously if you're new, I would strongly advise going back and watching the rest of the episodes. If you haven't got many to catch up on, I'll give you a quick rundown of what this is. Uh, obviously Survival Challenge, we started off with no money. We started off with a bit of land with no fields, uh, and on, on this survival challenge, we've got no yard, no house. Well, we started off with no house and no yard, uh, and all we started with was a tractor, a trailer, and a chainsaw. And obviously, now we've got a new truck a new trailer uh, we obviously still have the tractor and obviously we've got a drill a subsoiler a sprayer no we don't have a sprayer because we're going to be buying it in just a moment uh, so we will have a sprayer uh, a fertilizer spreader or a lime spreader either or uh, we have a weeder a roller and we have a small yard now with a few buildings and at the moment we're living out of a tent so that is pretty much it and obviously now a quick update on today's video obviously a little quick rundown of what I want to get done today obviously I just said about getting a new sprayer well I say a new A sprayer um, we won't need it just yet, but obviously I want to get it so it's there because it's quite expensive and I don't want to get to the stage where when I do need it, I don't have the money for it. So we're going to go ahead and buy that. And then, depending on what money we have left, uh, we may get some more greenhouses. Or something along those lines. I'm not too sure. Uh, but as I would have said yesterday, because obviously you you would have had two of these uh, this series you would have had two of them this week instead of no man's land um, yeah I said about a new field not obviously a whole new piece of land about creating a new field uh, so we might get on with that today hopefully we can get it all even if I just get it marked out so I know where I want it uh, that'd be really good and um, we try obviously I'll try and get the whole field done but that little subsoil we got is bloody useless right guys obviously we're back now we've just slept so it's the morning I'm just gonna check but there's nothing in there anyway. We, I was going to check the uh, sale page, see if there was anything decent in there. Um, but no, we're going to get the sprayer. It's like it's not like a old sort of sprayer, but it's not new at the same time. It looks it's obviously it's brand new, but obviously um, the whole look of it, it's kind of that middle stage. Uh, so. It's a bit pricey. I couldn't find anything cheaper. Uh, yeah, with a few different categories, there's not really much floating around. Most of it's like massive kit. But even then, I've looked for Carmson Farm for bigger stuff and uh, even some uh, for my just like my own gameplay that I just play without recording. Um, on like some American maps it's just not even it's not even that many big big implements obviously there's big tractors just other than like humongous I don't want humongous I just want something that's big but not massive and not too small if you get what I mean so and then mind this sprayer is going to do us quite well I think it's about 18 meters 
just putting in the old uh, license plate yeah I don't th I think the international hasn't actually got a number plate on it I don't think it'll have one until I put a cab on it if I put a cab on it and I don't even think I put the number plates on the truck either so we'll have to sort that out so we've got just under 13,000 left Um, that's quite cheap actually I'm pretty sure you can put a loader on this oh the John Deere is quite cheap as well it's a bit more powerful oh it's got front loader attachment as well that's quite cool few different options front loader hmm not too keen on the oh there we go I was gonna say I'm not keen on the old skinny wheels at the front Probably got a good turn in circle, don't get me wrong, but yeah. I don't know. Right. So I went ahead and I bought the little Ford. It's literally a bog standard model. Uh, actually saying that, no, I think it's the slightly higher horsepower I think it's only like 48 horsepower so it won't be doing much it's got the front loader which will do us to start off with just to move a few things around um, I'm just hoping that this will pull this alright this would be ideal for a little spraying tractor it's not quite as bulky as what the international is I don't think the International's got the option for skinny wheels. Uh, it might be something I have to look into actually. Hmm. Oh great. Right, so I'm gonna have to sort that out. Right, so obviously that's all sorted. The tractor is back, it's in the little yard, it's got the fertilizer spreader attached to it uh, that's probably going to be its main job until we get a little bit more money where we can source a loader um, but there could be a few other little jobs that you can do for me so it won't go to waste but what I'm going to do so obviously you can see I'm marking out the field I probably just will just give it my best go and try and get it finished by the end of the episode and I think we'll do it but to increase my chances I'm going to stick you guys on a time lapse because obviously then we can get a bit more done and the video won't be too long so I will speak to you guys shortly Give you a 
Right, so you would have seen that we managed to get the field done. It's all marked out, obviously it's all been um, subsoiled. So we do have a new field now, and obviously as you would have seen, we've even drilled it. So, in the end, same as that field on the right hand side, I decided to put two crops in it. So I'm pretty sure in that field on the right, we've got... Uh, is it oats and barley, or is it barley and granola? It's one of those two. And in this field on the left, we've got wheat and soybeans. So we've got a bit of a mixture, uh, which is really good. Obviously, managed to just finish the field without running out of fertilizer. Obviously, we've got the little fertilizer spreader, but obviously, it would be better if we had saved that for actually when we need to do the second um, second dose or second coating whatever you want to call it I was going to use the Ford on the cedar obviously it don't really use much but I remembered when we used it last but even this tractor struggled a little bit pulling it up the hill once it's in the ground so I just went ahead and used this tractor straight away just to save myself hassle um, but no so now that we've uh, drilled that we're actually going to put the truck to work it's going to be working in the fields uh, and you're probably thinking what What are you doing uh, well it's heavy and even this tractor struggles to pull it a little bit so we're going to be towing the roller with the truck and the truck is going to be doing all the work with the roller let's see how it goes the truck's got I, think, I can't remember how much horsepower the truck's got I think it's quite a bit I can't remember I do apologise guys, I have made a start, I had a few technical issues with the computer and as you would have probably seen I had a few issues with the trailer it wouldn't stop rolling for some reason uh, so I had to go put it on flat ground even though it was on pretty flat ground anyway um, but yeah, so we're halfway through the truck's pulling it, no problem it would go faster if it could but obviously it's restricted to the speed of what the roller is capable of doing but I'm looking at this and it don't really seem like it's doing a great deal so I don't really know what's going on with this to be fair I don't know whether it's actually working or not or whether uh, I'm gonna be doing this for no reason and you're probably thinking well why don't you just check Instead of carrying on, oh, I don't want to. I don't want to. <laughs> uh, because if this doesn't work, I, 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 I don't know. I don't know if it's the roller itself or if I'm just doing it in the wrong order. I'm pretty sure that I found out or I've corrected my mistakes on Carmson Farm with the whole rolling. You don't do it before, you do it after, or it doesn't register. But saying that, does rolling only cut? Does rolling the field only work if the field's been cultivated? I don't know because obviously th this field don't need. Well, I didn't need to cultivate it because the the cedar or the drill is a direct drill. I mean, you don't need to cultivate. Uh, if that is the case, and it needs cultivating, then I may cheat 
when it comes to rolling. Actually, no, 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 no. no. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I might just figure a way out. I might just have to... Oh, Jesus. I might just have to invest in getting a cultivator. At least then with the cultivator instead of the subsoiler, I can... When I cultivate, it will create the field as well. And I think the cultivator that I got last time is wider but obviously I need to get the attachment for the tractor uh, before I get that so but that's a lot of money I think the, the attachment for the tractor is about 15,000 I think the cultivator is about 10 so I don't really know and the Ford's nowhere near powerful enough to pull that Oh, that's a three-point hitch. I was going to say the truck could pull it. <laughs> yeah, but right on the lifter, on the attachment, because I can tow the attachment with this. And then obviously the cot that goes on the back of the attachment. But, never mind. Right, well. Yeah, it's a bit unusual for you to get two time lapses in one video I think you got two yesterday actually on this series it's the first time in a long time I've actually done two time lapses is in one episode for quite a while now I can't actually remember the last episode I had two obviously mine is yesterday but anyways I'm gonna sit you in the time lapse just so the video is not too long uh, we we'll get this finished and I'm gonna probably have a little bit of a sort out around the yard so I'm gonna say goodbye now so Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and you enjoyed the one yesterday. If you did, I appreciate if you leave a like. If you haven't already subscribed, then click that red button. would be much appreciated. And obviously, if you want to keep up with the latest new videos of Survival Challenge on Calm Lands. Or No Man Lands. Or any other series on the channel for that matter. And then don't forget to hit that bell button. Cheers guys. See you on the next one. Give you a